Greetings, traveler. It's not about winning, it's about sending a message. Keep it real. Opponent's defeat. Take heart. Science is built on mistakes. Everything goes according to my plan. Or, uh, was it your plan? Strict no refund policy. Even I'm surprised it worked. Great choice. Wait, what did you do? Need a drink? Ah, the sweet taste of your opponent's defeat. That's a big win here. That's a big win. You did it! You survived the night of no idea how. There's a world where you have to sack your pop pot here to get your buddy. This goes to three, level dig, sell, sell, sell. But it wouldn't have been possible if I hadn't one or tie at the last round. Okay, that's why I banked the Salamental so that I can get my buddy on the turn where I dig. I think that's crucial. If, you, if you're if you a turn behind on plus five plus five, it's bad. Yeah, there's Trachisath, that's the only thing. On four, right. You can triple into Murrow, but you don't really want that. Oh, nice. My man with the... My man received the PayPal. PayPal received, leaving my leaving my game. Okay, so now I can keep my pop pot. That's a big deal. Kelly is fine. More than fine with two, two mummies on the board. Kanger, Bone Mare, Mackerel. All right, take a second here. You could take Kangor here and push for the uh, Boombox Exodia. Because Kangor reborning your mummies, right, with Jelly is really good. So I think it's actually fine. Because this could be Baron. And then I can just roll for Boombox on four. Try to get this fast as well. Maybe take a six, maybe take another five. Golden jelly, baby. <laughs> this jelly never dies, dude. I feel like you can sell level. What's the point to sell level? Get a six. What's the point to a six? Get a Theo. I don't know.
Kangar didn't get insta-wrecked, that's good. Very good. No, I, I don't say like it's a bad play, but I'm saying why, right? So we don't want to level because level. We want to level because it does something for us. And this does stuff for us, right? We can go into Theodar now. Uh, we could maybe play Sister slash Summoner. We could roll into the Baron, so... I'm okay with the play, because we are strong, I agree. Or we were strong for that turn. Colossus, Nadina, Murkai. Probably just Colossus, because I can see us playing Anubarak from this point as well. I don't think I want to make the full Murkai pivot, that seems a bit ambitious. Could buy ball roll and then just play one more, but I don't think I want ball. Uh, see, with this Soul Splitter, I can now see a Nubarak. And we dig, right? Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't we dig? It sounds ridiculous. There's a huge poison minion chat. A huge one. Good thing my jelly doesn't give a shit. Heliwix does not feel premium in this meta. You did it! You survived, and I have no idea how. Golden Buddy gives you a six drop and more scaling, but I think the win con lies in the Baron angle. Either Baron with Anubrak or Baron with Boombox. Blaster could maybe work versus them already, but we'll see. Taunt, poison, okay. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I want to play this this game. It seems too far away. I'm not guaranteed to reborn the Inubrak right now. I think I might just take the Kanger and commit. Because I'm just not guaranteed at all here. War gear, Banshee. I guess there's this Banshee, right? Actually, really far behind with their uh, comp. I'm also playing some shit they really don't want to fight. <laughs> These micro mummies are actually a bit annoying. I think. We must rebuff the jelly. Rebuff the jelly, I say. More buffs. More jelly! You can't handle this jelly! Once this micro mummy gets the buddy buff, it's annoying though. I could try for a buster now, but I think we need Baron first. It's really find Baron, find Boombox, but I can use this for buster as well. Roll a bit first, I guess. Yeah, the Titus is needed. Module is good though. That solves the problem of this surviving. This could be out, but I think this is a good opportunity to make a golden buddy to keep it. Because now I can just do this. And then play this. And then if it's good, I can replace the soul spitter. If it's not, I can hold. Summoner, Mechadraxus, Fort. I hope you win. 
Putting this a bit more forward in case the mummy hadn't died yet. But I might not get both mummies, right? These should be opposites each other. Okay, we're getting both mummies. It's so insane that... What's your strategy, Jelly? What do you mean? What is there to more to explain? My strategy is jelly. I just I just go jelly, dude. Just all in on jelly. That's that's what I do. That's the plan. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Just all in on jelly. That's that's how we roll. So there is some argument here to level for the uh, Buster, but without a Titus, I don't think so. Because I could also just stay on 5 and roll Boombox. Now if I had Titus, I think I might level to open up the Buster. <laughs> it's part of the strat. Alright, uh, it's gonna roll. Titus and Boombox, that's really it. This is cool with the Fort, but I don't want to sell anything, so I don't think it matters. Fort's not gonna win us the game anyway. We need to roll the pieces. Not awful. I don't know. Ah, man! If only we had had the Titus, then we could have scaled so much with a Nubarak. But I think this was still the better play. Just not seeing the boombox is a bit annoying. Bank another module. I think I just roll it down. That seems wrong. Oh yeah, this is a tough one. But we're in one of those we're in one of those positions where we have just enough scaling to be kind of relevant here. But we don't have enough scaling to be uh, happy with it for the long run. So in order to do anything in this game, we need to hit our combo pieces and yeah, we're currently not hitting. This queen scares me. Can one shot my jelly. Need to get lucky here. Okay. It's kind of like stay of execution though. Okay, that's decent. Right. We shaved off a lot of damage in the end. The six give more chance to find stuff. Yes. But you are not taking into account that you are missing out on six rolls. <laughs> so, if it was free, yes. All right, come on, boombox. Come on, Titus. And just rolling it down like this is so depressing. So dumb. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem with how they added more minions. You can easily just roll for so long and hit nothing. So it's at the very least a freeze, but is it ever triple cell? Double cell I think I could have considered. Triple cell seems like a really, really tough proposition the jelly is falling off yeah we haven't really done anything right for a long time wait we had 50 percent to kill them the etc right? I hope you win. Be good for my franchise. are you going to six next turn or not well i just found the card that i was rolling for so what do you think i'm not i'm not saying that to be an ass right i'm, I'm genuinely curious what do you think is the the logical move then Like, what do we need right now? And that, that's essentially how you answer that question. You see what we need right now, and then we, we look for that card. 
You would for better chance on Titus. So you would level from tier 5 to tier 6 this turn, pay 4 extra gold to have more chance for Titus. I think it's the other way around. Now, if I'm fighting a ghost, there is a chance we don't, but... Hmm. <clears throat> so if I need to hit right now, rolling on 5 is better. Because I'm not going Buster, right? Now that I have the boombox, I'm happy with this. Okay. So just roll. More boombox and Titus. Nice. Alright. The drought is over, chat. We hit. That's a big deal. So the fort is out because scaling doesn't matter here. The boombox gets resummoned. And then you're either out of your buddy or you're out of your Colossus. And I think the buddy is probably better to throw. Well, let's see. I think I have to play this Titus. It's too scary if I don't. Don't really want module. What's next now? More boombox, more Titus. Pretty straightforward. More boombox, more Titus. I'm still okay summoning the mummy, potentially. It looks like it's just gonna be boombox. Fire the laser beams! Does this comp run a blaster? Yes. Eventually. To force the... Uh, to force the boombox to go off and respawn. Oh man, we really want that blaster now as well. This is good, but it's not good without the blaster, so... Take a first roll for that. Hell yeah, chat. Now we're getting somewhere. Now you might get out of mummy, so it's not a mech that respawns. And then use this for cleave protection if they found the foe reaper. It's good to plan ahead. Me, I plan but this counters Vol'jin fairly hard. He does have the grease spots HP though. But normally we should be fine. I do lose my taunt here, so let's first see what happens. Yeah, of course. <laughs> the jelly is still big. I think we're fine. Yeah, should be fine. Get their shield for free. Yeah, it's enough. It's enough shenanigans to get there. Okay. JJ on the kale. It worked. I mean, it worked. Of course right. it did. Just give me a blaster, please. Looking for a great stocking stuffer? How about on a glazing? Thank you. Dude. From your friends at Appreciate that. Now so now our golden boom box, I guess, is the nuts. Well, that's pretty much the only card that we need to build a moonbox. No Leroy, no. Oh, Selfless is also good, I guess. Nice. Sell, sell, play, play. Pop and a pop. Throwing the jelly feels a bit much, but is a Selfless gonna do more? Maybe not. This is out. Let me roll. I guess you don't have enough board space otherwise. Still okay with it, I guess. Nothing scares me. Except mice. Nice. 
Does he shoot my Baron? It's a lucky thing. I had my pieces. Your pieces? My gun. Oh. Right. Uh, anyway, I started blasting. Bam! Wow. Bam! Poo, 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 poo. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that comp is so kick W, man. They will nerf it, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they'll nerf it.